So this is the motherboard completely removed from the laptop from an uh, HP Pavilion laptop 15 series and I'll show you how to get it free of all the little connectors. All right, so we've turned it over so we can access the screws. There are five visible screws and we're going to remove all of those with um, just an appropriately sized Phillips screwdriver. But there are also going to be other screws inside. It may be helpful to have a set that has various sizes and shapes um, just in case. Okay, there are also screws that are going to help us access underneath each of these rubber pads. This, this is a magnetic strip. We've covered it with masking tape so we can label what each of these are. These were the three that came off of the back. These two were from the front edge of the back. These were the hinges. We're going to be adding some more here. And then there was the other rubber pads we removed that just have a single screw and those are here. So label them so that you'll remember and you can see we've got a lot of space for more screws as they're needed. Okay, next is remove this disk drive, but actually I had to turn the computer back on for just a moment so that it would open the disk drive and now we can remove it. So you might want to do that before you start this process of removing screws. Okay, now this is the back we just took all the screws out of and we have the disk drive out. Now this seam is the seam that we're gonna split open. And um, I'm using my, my thumbnail to get in there because it's the thinnest thing I have and it's just barely strong enough to do it. We do have this other spatula to, once it's wide enough to get in there a little better. So we're gonna very gently scoot across. Okay, so you just have to take your time, work your way around the seam. Um, the corners by these single screws under the rubber pads are the toughest. You keep working it. If you get the rest of it loose, then it you can kind of break it free this way. The other trouble spot is over here. This is a very thin strip, but it will pop up with just a little more pressure. So we've gotten this completely free and clear now. Okay, next and most important is remove the battery. And we can do that by just unscrewing in three or four places and on mine there's battery screw here and here and also at the top here and here okay, and we're lifting this out and pulling forward slightly see these pins coming out just like an electrical plug and this would also be how you would replace your battery in this computer so this is the hard drive and to remove it, we're gonna follow this connection to its end, which is right here. And rather than pulling it out, there is a little switch, this little black bar on the top, we're gonna to lift. It's got a tiny little hinge. You can see it's open now, I'm gonna close it. Okay, we need to open it, flip it open, so that this can be pulled out. And you must be very, very gentle with this. These connectors are very delicate. And then once this is free, being careful not to crease this or bend it, you can simply lift this hard drive right out of place. All right, so this is the motherboard, this bluish area here. This is one plastic piece and there are four screws we're removing. Um, there's one over here, one here, one over here, and here, and this one was tighter. Um, I've loosened it slightly already, and um, 
this Phillips I've been using for the rest of the project has been working great until this screw um, decided to switch to a flathead that is the same size just to be sure it goes down in the groove as far as it can because we do not want to strip this and it gave just enough more leverage to be able to to um, loosen that and get it out. It was significantly tighter than the others, so we switched to that flathead in that case. Okay, I also used this flat screwdriver on this Phillips because it was very tight right here. Now this is um, outside of the motherboard area, but in order to get the motherboard off, we're going to have to um, not only also remove this screw, but several around the fan as well. To remove the fan, I'm removing three screws. Okay, now the motherboard is much freer than it was before, but we can see that it's anchoring over here, so it's going to be probably sliding this way after we get this free. But before we do that, there are more things connected we're going to have to remove. Again, being very delicate with them each. So we loosened the fan enough that we can move these cables free of this little metal partition. If you can see under here, this metal partition. Right down in there. So we had to get those cables free. Now this is hooked, but just barely. It springs over. Okay, so the fan is loose. We're needing to just pull this back. See how springy that is? We want to pull it back enough that, and kind of lift at the same time there. Now it's free of these four little slots. Okay, so this end is free. This end uh, and this side is free, but this side is not. There's a few more connectors that we're going to need to lift. Um, one is there. Very, very delicate. Okay. And this is also going to come unclipped. So this one to separate toward the end. I'm using just my fingernail. So I won't scratch anything. You can see that's slightly separated now. I'll do that over here. See the metal being exposed. So working from this end now, everything is already loose. You can see this is about to come up. The only place where we're sticking now is right at the end. So we're gonna pull this way gently to slide out of those areas. Okay, we cannot quite slide it out yet because this little guy is bracketing in the last corner. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna lift this metal piece we already unscrewed earlier. Just lifts right out. We're gonna lift up and over this thread. Up and slightly out toward me 
and up and over this little peg. See that tiny little black peg? Lift that up and out. Okay, so we're still caught under here. We just need a little more clearance. So this post, I'm just gonna lift this, lift this metal bracket slightly. And that's all it needed was just a tiny bit. All right, we're gonna, we're still tethered here. The last tether. All right, this is the Wi-Fi card, and we need to take these, get these wires cleared now, and before we remove them, take note of what order they're in. There's a black tag here that says two, and there's a white tag here. You might barely, barely be able to see that has a number one on it. Tiny little markings here for black and white. So that will be the order they go back on. And these just pop off. Okay, the fan will be easier dealing with if we remove it. To remove the fan, pull this plug straight out. The black comes out of the white frame around it. You might have to dig your fingernails under there. This also pulls straight out. The tabs on the side are to help you get it out gently. Okay, and now we have nothing tethering the board at all.